here we go again into the fourth round now let's hear it from the crowd for the zaga team as they are, are about to take the lead Oh my god, dead? Maybe Joker Gang fans, man. Oh, it must have been, must have been the Joker, Joker Gang's fans. Oh well. We saw, we, we sorry, we, we, we couldn't exactly call them Suicide Squad because there was no Joker there, but anyway. Uh, uh, um, Harley Quinn was there. True, true, true. Good uh, cosplay outfit. She's uh, you know, playing with the controller. Also quite interesting to see. Yeah, obviously our LB button wasn't working for the lifeline. And there's your champion squad. So they're gonna have <laughs> they're gonna have a little bounty on their head going into this one, which is quite cool. Where are they gonna go for the drop? Are they gonna go to Thunderdome? Yes, it is. It's the Thunderdome. It's Mad Max time now, boys. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This is one of my favorite spots to jump. You know why? Because on that center spot, there's always really good loot there. There's always a there's always a tier three item there. Sometimes it's just a Phoenix kit. Sometimes it's a level three armor piece, and that's exactly what you need starting this game, because whoever jumps with you. You know, generally doesn't get that piece. Oh, they lose up big time. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, sometimes also I like to jump on the upper area where there are two kind of storage containers on the left hand side here. You'll see them there. I like to jump into those areas there specifically to try and pick up like some basic food. But let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, no level three. Maybe they've uh, changed it up. They have changed up this area a little bit though uh, from the previous version. There were a lot more rocks, kind of uh, pillars all over the place, but now they've kind of flattened it out and they've put uh, actual um, supply crates there. Yeah, ever-evolving map here in the Apex Legends game. Now we see one squad already hitting the deck just as the game started off. A level uh, instant brawls. Oh, those are quite fun. If you survive yeah. them in particular, definitely a lot of fun. There's a Spitfire here, going to be hugely beneficial. Um, definitely better than the hemlock no one really picks up the hemlock unless you really have to the flatline is great to use it's a good suppressor suppressing kind of gun um, and, and really effective also quite powerful and that's why you would rather keep it than the spitfire the spitfire they've nerfed the damage though on the bullets a little bit so it's a little bit uh, unfortunate but i'm a i'm a pickup at the moment not too bad two level twos yeah you see i have off picked up as well here just stocking up before the first engagement breaks out. I'm not sure how much time they have left. Because it'd be quite funny if they don't actually get an engagement before the 45 minutes runs out. No, no, no. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, they, they can play this through now. Oh, all right. Because they've started the fourth one within the uh, allotted time. So they don't. Oh. So I don't think they, they stop mid-game. I, okay. I might be wrong, but as far as I know, they can play the game out. All right, that's pretty cool. So Once you start, you can go for it. So we could see a potential three-peat here. Yeah, chances here. are there. Got we can do it. Look at that. You know, calling out each other's attachments. We didn't see that in the previous team. And you can you can definitely see that these guys have been playing together for quite some time. They probably have been practicing as well. You yeah. know? So I like to see the call-outs there. You know, there's a hop-up in the one location. You've got an extended magazine as well for heavy ammo. Those are like priceless things like gems to have, you know. Specifically, if you've got a wingman or if you've got a spitfire or even a flatline. Right. Heavy ammo has its, uh, has its benefits in this game. And Most that's definitely. to hit hard. And when it hits, <laughs> it hits hard. <laughs> we got the firing there in the middle. I've never seen this area before. This is uh, quite cool. Oh, go. Circus Charlie. That's pretty cool. Oh, you can see there was a fat brawl here at the moment. Ooh. And there we go. Find <laughs> the strike list. Go. And they got loot, I can tell you that now. That's a lot of loot. Now they're going to get the knockdown shield here, but they're going to bring this one down. So that's three frags immediately. Oh, two frags at least. Three zero. Rings close. Now they're finding a lot of good stuff as well. Oh, so far, so good. You know, ammo pickups not too bad. You know, they've got uh, pretty much a couple of uh, blue items here. Oh. They are engaging immediately. Someone coming around the corner. That's a rate that they're going to have to try and eliminate. And down she goes. But uh, not without uh, dropping one of the teammates here. But at least, you know, it's just a drop. It's not exactly a complete... Uh, can the can the raid teammate capitalize though? They're gonna want to try getting here to try to revive, but for the moment, looks like they're giving a line pretty safe. Should get the easy res. Oh, it's quite a hot area there. That, uh, that almost looks like another raid that's running around. There goes the blood out. It is Beast of the Hunt. 
to get himself another frag now. He's like trying to pick up someone. Oh no, it looks like he's just gonna loot quickly. Look at that coming in quick, quick, quick. Picks up a couple of guns. Oh, does he spot someone on the top left there? You need to have very, very quick vision to spot your opponents, but you can see a passive of his picking up someone now. Now he's gonna engage and it looks like a pathfinder. Can't oh. bring him down in time. He's gonna get actually knocked on, but he's got the shield there and his team's gonna capitalize. They bring that one down. Yeah, we can loot them. Nice work. Oh, just a sole player there. Oh, look, they're dropping a couple of players here and there. 11 squads left. Thank you. It's a nice game. We saw uh, Scarlet wrecking it in the League of Legends as well prior to the Apex Legends so starting out. We have Bootfighter after the Apex Legends as well. How could I forget? Bootfighter. How could I forget? That's just right after this. Oh, engagement breaking out there. The Amy Alliance get a good. Oh, look at that range. That's the one thing I like about the flatline. It's really got that range, and it does pack a wow. nice pump and punch. They get one down immediately. Uh, they get a, do they get a second down? They do get the second down. Oh, dropping them all over the place here. Very good play here from the Zaga team. They're managing to get all the eliminations needed. Look at them looting up once again and going for that potential opportunity of picking up a third in a row champion round. As a squad, they shoot, they're killing, well, fragging 10 people around. Well, if they would have to it's four actually, so it's more than 10. We're looking at about 12 or 12.5. That's pretty insane. That's a very decent average. They find another enemy here. Doesn't have the best scope, but still yeah, getting it. through a decent enemy. amount of damage. There we go. The smoke comes out. They have a blood round. Make the move through there. They're going to find shooting. another one. They down two enemies here. Really enjoy the R301 play here now from the Saga player. He just really takes uh, takes his time and just like locks yeah, in the aim. Boom, another one. And that's another eliminated squad there. Look at that. Really good play. You sitting here with your mouth open going like... Absolutely uh, phenomenal. You're not sure like where this is coming from, but like, well, how these guys actually play the game of Apex Legends. Wow. Could be some good stuff. If you're listening EA, if you develop it, maybe Game Time Media will host one. Yeah. Oh, that's a decent amount of damage coming out there. And they get the down. Execution gonna be more or less guaranteed, but they're gonna take out the rest of the team first. Oh, look at the from all lock angles. Really, the aiming lock-on is so great here for this team. They just literally keep their, they keep their cool and they just lock on to their opponent. Six squads left here now. Five frags now for the, the judge as they move in. Let's hear the crowd here now for the Zaga team. They are definitely the front runners here for the Hero Charity <laughs> event. Oh, shame. Look at this poor guy. I killed him. Yeah. He just got blown up, but oh. Taking some return fire here. Right, he's coming in left, right, and center. And we have to also give credit to like our director here. Hey? He's actually observing at the same time. He's sitting there, massive people, literally just going through all the feeds. And if anybody watched the Apex Legend Invitational, you know it's not the easiest thing to observe this game. Not by any means, and he's doing a good job. Not as a good a job as City Gaming Alliance are doing it, just wrecking their opponents. So this is. Pretty close though. Pretty close. Yeah, six squads left. Contact with hostile. Here we go. They're gonna find yet another kill. Oh, that's easy stuff. There's still six squads left, so they are definitely teammates around. Charging up the shields. They're staying in a good position. Then they Ooh. find yet another one. 100 damage shot there. And they're gonna finish off that kill as well. We just take the shots to the face, oh my word. Nine kills here and the team is on a roll. They are literally dropping, dropping some big numbers here and definitely extending their lead. And look at them. They don't even, it's just like... Smiling. Business as usual, you yeah. know, just about to win our third game of Apex Legends. Nothing special here. Five. Let's go this way. 51 kills, they have passed the 50 mark now on Sprags. Crazy, another lockdown here. Might be 52, they find another team here. Still a drop on the left there. Might be able to pick up a nice uh, gold weapon. There we go, beast of the hunt. Let's see, does he pick up uh, a victim? Oh, he's in there with a prowler. Look at this. Tries to get a couple of kills in here, but he's getting chased. Getting rushed down. No, I don't know what. For the <laughs> Mr. Brolter's doing something. <laughs> he puts out the shield, but enemy is here. Manages to get out there quite quickly, but he has the support of his teammates. He has the peacekeeper. Gets the drop. Well played. And oh gets my another one of the God. Eliminated.
Legend. It just scraps at this point. You so get it out. It's like a level 100 World of Warcraft character at this point. Oh. Going to explore it here. Oh, there we go. Time for some rope access. Guys, moving into the next town. Let's see if they can pick up uh, three in a row champion rounds. They got this positioning here on the roof. Got the good scope here, scouting it all out. Oh, they spotted force. one enemy. Was it being Back. made? Knockdown. Fight's going to be broken out. They get the first knockdown. They're going to get the execution here as well. Almost got him. Oh, here we go. Bangalore execution. Playing Camera's going to swap. That, that's in that sort of position. That's very risky if you ask me. Oh, man. It's so stylish. Indeed it is. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. The flashy moves is where it's at. Once again, they're going to face off one more squad who is around in the vicinity but they're probably gonna go for that drop probably a better idea just to pick up another gun there maybe we'll see a mastiff come out of that drop there are uh, there are indications of people it looks like uh, they are within the scope there there we go Spots enemy them. has been spotted can they do it do oh they have my the word to win Look a at third that. round in a row another gold gun if they can get that gold gun they can bait that gold gun if enemies go for it you take them out with the sniper. Right, there's the there's the drop. Ooh, he sees, goes for the shot with the clever. Oh, he sees some enemies. He sees two of them. Yeah, doesn't get the shot in though, but uh, very close. They know where they they know where they are. Vice versa. So now, it is the fight. Let's uh, cheer on the Zaga team that they take on the last opponents here. Long range battle. They're still duking it out here. Battle of the snipers. But you've got a famous Zeta Gaming Alliance here. They have the ultimate gun to be able to be doing this. They've got the momentum and they have Beast of the Hunt available. So if they want to rush, they can. Now the Kraber's on uh, got a good position right now. He's got a little bit of a height advantage. Does spot his opponents. And you can see, there we go. The battle is on. Spray down time here. Do they get themselves a third in a row? Champion position. And they get the frags. Beast of the Hunt initiated. They're on the hunt. They spot on an enemy. Can they do it? They get one. Oh, he gets knocked down. The shield is available. Can his teammates pick oh. up the slack in time? They're trying. Pusky There's a one-to-one -one one shield. Can they do it? Pusky Pusky do it. it. Do it. Do it. Yes, they get one. They get two. They get two. Yes. That's three in a row. Right. Right. Whoa. Saga team. Oh. Absolutely phenomenal. I think we can close off this uh, charity event now. I think it's done and dusted. They just completely screamed every single possibility. I don't think there's anyone else that's going to get close to this. Look at them. They are in shock. They're in awe. They can't believe this and neither can I. Three in a row. That's done and dusted for them.